Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I'm doing my review of Shazam! Fury of the Gods. So Shazam! Fury of the Gods is the sequel the, to the 2019 film Shazam! And it stars Zachary Levi, Asher Angel, Rachel Ziegler, uh, Grace Caroline Curry, Adam Brody, amongst others. Um, and so I like the cast. I do think that the cast does a fine job of playing their characters. And I think that the first Shazam just as like a telling you where I'm at with this franchise basically are with this. These, I guess this is only the second film, so this, the, the two films in this uh, uh, sequel, <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is the second film of the of the two. Where I came into this film was, I thought the first one was okay. I've only seen it once in theaters. I've never watched it again. But I remember thinking it's it was okay. I remember like enjoying it to some extent, but also not really loving it. And that's why I haven't watched it again, is because I think it's okay. But it's nothing special. And this one is worse. I also didn't mention Lucy Liu is in this movie as well, but I think she's very good. I think the cast, for the most part, is very good in this film. But it stars the, uh, it stars, a. Uh, it's about Billy Batson, who is a teenage superhero who turns into, uh, basically just turns into Zachary Levi, um, when he says Shazam. And I, this film is just, it, it exists, I guess you could say. I don't feel like the first one was okay like I said I don't think it was bad but I feel like this one is worse from a storytelling standpoint from a kind of direction standpoint and like pretty much everything I just think that this film overall is slightly worse than the first one I think the acting is about on par um, with what I remember the first one being but again, it was nothing special. It was just kind of there. It exists. And I feel like this one is... This one is... It starts off and Lucy Liu is, you know, she's the villain in this film and she steals a... She steals like the, uh, the, the magic staff from the first movie to try to take away the powers of the characters that have the Shazam ability, right? And, you know, she... I'm trying not to spoil anything. That, that happens at the very beginning of the movie, and that's the entire kind of, like, plot line that we're going with here. This film, although is decently well acted and has some, has some kind of, like, charismatic characters I just never cared I just never once cared about the storyline in this film and I cared a little bit in the first one so I just I didn't care at all <laughs> at any point during this movie I feel like they just went all you know the characters and this is, was an issue in the first movie too the characters are Billy Batson and Shazam when they, you know, go in, when, when he turns into Shazam and when he's Billy Batson, they feel like completely different characters. I don't know how it felt in the comic books. I never read a Shazam, a Shazam comic book. So I don't know how it felt in the comic books, but in these two movies, these two characters have felt completely, like completely different characters. You know, the, the, the boy, when he's like a teenager, it's like a, a brooding, like, edgelord, pretty much. You know, without the edge, I guess you could say. You know, he's a depressed little brat, basically. And, you know, I can relate to some extent to that feeling. But then he turns to Sam and he's just like... Like, he's like an ADHD crazy kid, basically. Is the, the adult Shazam. I feel like these characters should have, like, at least... They should at least feel like the same person. They just don't. All of the other characters, 
they pretty much feel like the same character when they turn into their superhero self, right? But for some reason, Billy Batson and Shazam, those two characters do not feel like the same human being. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they do this. But uh, this film, I think, is, uh, is, is I think I have, they've given the first one like a 7, maybe a 6.5. This one's getting like a 5. It's getting the same review. It's getting the same rating I gave 65. However, these are not, I guess I could have said 5.5 for this one because this one is slightly better than 65 in my view because I had slightly more fun with it. It is longer, but 65 felt just as long as this movie, so I guess. We can split hairs there, right? Um, I just did my 65 reviews of... I don't know which one of these I'm putting out first, but, you know, you can check that one out if it's uh, out. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter and link in the description below. Peace.